Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 26 of Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends. And this time around, we really will do Dong Zhuang Ji. Now, Dong Zhuang Ji is a way tale. And this one happens if you do less than 10 battles and also allow Dong Zhuang to get away in the Battle of Hulao Gate. But of course, that also means you have to kill Zheng Jiao as well. So on that note, you find this battle is going to be the last battle of the game. Ironically enough, if you have enough uh, stats and you have enough strength, this is actually one of the more easier battles in the game. For this being a final level and all, you're practically fighting nothing but generic officers and Dong Zhuo. So, how is this going to work? You may see that there's only two people here, but guess what? It's going to be non-stop reinforcements. There's nothing you can do about the reinforcements. No matter how quick you are to kill off those guys, reinforcements will come and you're going to have to defeat them. That's all there is to it. So, while this may seem easy, I mean, look at the morale of all the troops and how, and look at the troops themselves, or well, the troop captain themselves of both uh, players. While this may seem easy, at the same time, it's not. If you are low level, you are going to get stopped, specifically by generic officers. Get used to this because, well. Of course, we're going to run into certain areas where we'll be fighting generic officers. I mean, Wei has his fair share of it too, but not as bad as Wu. Not as bad as Wu. So on that note... Uh, no, 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 AV Cable, you were doing just fine last part. You were doing just fine. No, hold out. Hold out. Hold out. God damn it! Hold out! Don't die on me! Breathe, damn it! Breathe! Uh, I don't know what's going on. Well, actually, I do know what's going on. It's just the fact that it decides to kill like this in this part. Funnily enough, the next part, the AV cable doesn't give me any trouble at all. None whatsoever. Which is rather weird. So, let's begin this entire stage. First things first. You want to try to kill off as many enemies as humanly possible to make sure that Sao Tzu is going to be safe. Now, if you had red hair, this battle would be over quickly. Cut. Well, no, actually, no, it wouldn't be over quickly. I'm lying. I'm lying. Because again, no matter what you do, the reinforcements will show up. And speaking of showing up, so is the messing up of the AV cable. If this is what caused people to leave, I apologize. I can't help technical difficulties, you know. And yes, I did send off the one that's ticking for freaking ever. So again, I'm gonna have to wait till Christmas for her to get a new one. Damn it. Okay, stop that. And it's rather annoying. However, once we've defeated, uh... Oh, wait. I was about to say, once we've defeated one of Dong Suo's forces, time will actually, uh... play a factor where the reinforcements will show up and try to beeline for, um... Uh, South South. Now, if you can kill, you know, if you actually are fast enough with red hair to kill off the reinforcements, you're still gonna have to deal with them. And Sao Tsao will still take a morale hit. But, at the same time, if you manage to uh, save the reinforcements, there's gonna be more. But. Just to let you know, these generic officers may have high morale, but they are not, like, inspired or rallying. Where they got ridiculous buffs and... You stupid archers! God, archers suck. 
But anyway, they don't have ridiculous buffs or they don't have any sort of uh, special attack boost. You're just fighting generic officers until that is Dong Shua appears. Once you eliminate all the generic officers, then you go for Dong Shua. This is a simple beatdown. And ironically, yes, this would be a last stage if you skipped a lot of battles. Enemy officer defeated. And yeah, there are some battles I recommend you don't skip. One of which being the Battle of Ding Jun. I don't recommend you skip that at all. Because after all, if you do skip it, you, if you're playing this way, it's going to screw you over in the long run. But anyway... We're going to be going to... Hey, hey, wait, come back here. Where are you? Yeah, what I was trying to say is we're going to try to save South Sal from being attacked. But it seems I lost track of... Oh, there he is. Come back here, Wong Fung. Enemy and he's dead. Defeated. So we're going to have to actually make sure that Sao Tso does not get, you know, defeated while he's on horseback. Which is kind of strange that people will struggle while on horseback and their lives are full. I don't know why that constantly happens. Well, whatever the case, if you were playing a Sao Tso, you don't really have to worry about this. If you have Sao Tso with red hair, then you definitely got this. However, here's the thing. <laughs> there is a way to actually beat the stage without having to worry about uh, Sao Tsao being in danger, aside from playing a Sao Tsao. Having a second person! Yeah, that's right. You have one person go for the enemy officer. You have one person go for the, to the west, and one person go to the east. All you have to do is just make sure that the enemies are defeated. I mean, this is easier to defeat in two player than what it is in one. Trust me. It is much easier to beat this particular stage in two player. Or unless you have high strength like I do. The speed part, that is left to be desired. Now, Dong Shuo has come back into the battlefield and now he's brought Li Ru. And also, capture card. You know, I capture card. AV cable. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nope, stop it. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Now, Li Ru, I don't think he's an inspired officer. He's just going to be another one, just like the other enemies. All you have to do is simply beat him down, and you probably will have free reign to Dong Zhuo himself. This is much easier than having to deal with Dong Zhuo who happens to be riding non-min elephants. Ah, Li Wu is right behind me. Where the hell- Oh, there he is. I just lost track of him. I really did. But this mission is rather quick. A lot quicker in two-player, actually. So now all that's left is Dong Zhuo himself. So, let's cut him down, and... Hold on. Let's just... Hey, hey, stop that! Don Zhuo would be your only challenge. He is practically... Got up. He's the one with the buffs. Of course, he's the commanding officer. But sometimes, when Don Zhuo is left isolated, and he doesn't, uh, get attacked, he will recharge his health, and he will also recharge uh, his moose out to the point where he'll gain a defense boost. But, that's the only thing you have to worry about with Dong Zhuo, and if you're powerful enough to beat him, well, you win. And with that said, Dong Zhuo and G is finished. But don't expect all the way tales to be easy. Oh no. Do not expect him to be easy. I mean, Wu had some of the more annoying, Wei had the more legitimately hard ones. 
And with that said, we actually go to another easy one in the next part, which is the battle in G. Where, ironically enough, we'll be taking on Yuan Shao's generic family. I know they're not generic because of Blast, but there are in this game. I'll see you guys next time in Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends in Part 27.